kids! Welcome back to Total Story Time. I hope you're excited for today's story. It's really, really nice. All right, everybody, put your listening ears on. I hope you're ready to listen. Okay, the story is called Mrs. Mole, I'm Home from the creator of Alan's Big Scary Teeth, Jarvis. It had been a very long day at work for Morris Mole. Morris's feet were aching and his eyes were so tired. He couldn't wait to get home to Mrs. Mole and the children. But he had a problem. Morris couldn't find his glasses anywhere. Oh no, he had to look around. Well, said Morris to himself, I ought to know my way back home by now. And so off he borrowed. Up he popped. <gasps> Mrs. Mole, children, I'm home, said Morris. I'm not your wife, said Mrs. Bunny. You're not our daddy, said the bunny children. Oh dear, terribly sorry, my mistake, said Morris. I don't think he could see properly. He went to the wrong house, to a different family. And off he burrowed, up he popped. I'm home, my little ones, give your daddy a kissy kiss, said Morris. Did he go to the right house? Let's see. This isn't your home said the owl family. You're kissing our tree, said the baby owl. Oh dear, bluh, yuck, I'm awfully sorry, spluttered Morris. I don't think he can see properly. And off he borrowed, up he popped, I'm home, my gorgeous family. Gosh, it's chilly in here. Let's get the fire on, said Morris. Do you think he went to the right house? Let's see. It's always cold. It's Antarctica, said Baby Penguin. This certainly isn't your home, said Daddy Penguin. Oh dear, good goodbye, clattered Morris. He went to Antarctica, oh God. And off he borrowed, up he popped. I'm home, my darlings. And how marvelous, you've run me a bath, said Morris. Did he go to the right house? Let's see. This is our swamp, not a bath, snapped Crocodile. And you better skedaddle before we have you for dinner. Oh dear, that's not very neighborly, yelped Morris. And off he borrowed. Morris had borrowed his way into many different homes. He went to the bunnies' homes, he went to crocodile, he to the crocodiles' homes, he went to Antarctica, he went to different homes, but he never actually reached his home. But not one was his. Oh no, what is Morris going to do? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, I'll never find my way home cried Morris, but then he smelled something. Sniff, sniff, something familiar, something delicious. Sniff, 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 warm noodles. Up he popped. Mrs. Mole, little ones, I'm finally home, said Morris. Do you think he finally reached home? Oh, I am so happy to see you, said Morris. Dad, we're over here. Oh dear, my mistake. I can't see anything without my glasses, said Morris. They're on your head, silly, laughed at the children. Oh my goodness, his glasses were on his head all along and he never noticed. We missed you. We were so worried, said Mrs. Mole. And I missed you, said Morris. I'll never ever lose my glasses again. Did you? Do you promise, Daddy? 
I promise, said Morris, and look how happy they are. I think they're having family dinner at the table in their home, right? And look, they're all wearing glasses. The kids are wearing glasses, Mrs. Mole is wearing glasses, and finally Morris is wearing glasses. Mrs. Mole, I'm home. The end. Did you like the story? Wow, I really like this story. He went to different homes, but then he finally reached his home and gave his family big hugs and kisses. Finally found his glasses. Do any of you wear glasses? I love wearing glasses, especially when you're reading lots of books that have small, small letters. It's good to wear glasses, yeah? Are you happy when you go home? When you finally have a long day out, whether you're in school or if you're at the mall or in the playground and you had a long day and then you finally go home to your family and you take a shower and you go to your room, it's the best feeling ever to go back to your home with your family, right? Alright, I really hope you enjoyed the story and I hope to see you very soon next time in our next story time video. Bye-bye, everybody.